Do how can student activists like be more prevalent and not just be in like a college campus bubble and like actually like, get their work recognized by the Huffington Post and like see like how bureaucratic higher ed institutions and how like messed up they are and how like they are not use, usually putting minorities in their spaces. Like how do we like get you guys to recognize us and how much work that we're doing? Um, it's a very good question. I'm going to save all the activists and organizing question to the queen of activists and organizing. Um, but on, in terms of the coverage thing, um, it's tricky. Uh, but I think the most important thing is just developing like context and getting to know the, your assets around you. So, like for example, the Huffington Post main office is like 20 minutes away from Columbia, right? Most people don't know that. So just being well aware um, of your resources and just know that your resources don't have to be the Huffington Post and CNN and all these like news outlets that we feel like are the biggest and most important, but being really plugged into the local community because that's how a movement starts. You start small. Everyone's going to start small. You're not going to come up with something and all of a sudden find yourself on the front page of the New York Times and interviewing on CNN. So re like just taking slightly a step out of your community. So if you're utilizing like the college campuses resources in the paper at like Columbia, and then you look at the general Manhattan, New York area. And then you're looking at like a little bit bigger. You got to take it step by step because there, and as an organizer, I, I'm sure you know this, but if you suddenly want to go to zero to 100, you're going to crash and burn very quickly. And, and those are not smart strategic steps. You take smart strategic steps of having your small resources. And when something grows, that's really how you get the attention um, of the national organization, something as big as the Huffington Post. And then um, just, just, just know your Muslim brothers and sisters that work in media or that work anywhere. We have so many resources within our own community. Um, there are other Muslim journalists out there, but sometimes we get stuck in this um, popularity contest where we only know maybe like a handful of Muslims in organizing or a handful of Muslims in media or a handful of Muslims in other types of departments. Know that there are so many more that you can reach out to and know that you yourself are a resource because when we finally tap into each other as a community, that's how we're going to go outward. So the world is very shallow. And a lot of the campaigns that I've worked on that have actually gotten media attention, believe it or not, were based on a trending hashtag. So as you think about organizing campaigns on your college campus, I mean, we did one last year. I don't know if you remember when uh, Ghazala Khan um, went up on the stage and then Donald Trump was like, oh, the Muslim woman could, didn't, wasn't allowed to speak. Um, we started a campaign online called Can You Hear Us Now? And we were able to highlight the voices of Muslim American women and highlight the accomplishments of Muslim American women across the world. And we were just having a private conversation. I mean, yeah, right, it wasn't private, but you know what I mean. A conversation online with Muslims. The next thing you know, Huffington Post, CNN, uh, BBC, everybody picked it up. And the campaign, Can You Hear Us Now, became a viral international campaign that actually was positive and allowed us as Muslim women to have a conversation in front of the whole world about Muslim women and our voice and how we have always had agency and, and we have always had a voice and we didn't need anybody to tell us that we were allowed or not allowed to have a conversation. So sometimes when you're doing a campaign thinking if there could be a social media campaign that allows me to participate in an event that you're doing on your college campus, I may not be there, but I also care about Palestine. I care about Black Lives Matter. I care about climate justice. So being able to reach out to some influencers in the Muslim community and say, hey, can you retweet this? I do that all the time just to give people an opportunity to, and, and for me to be responsible enough to use my platform to uplift the work of others. So think about social media as another way to amplify the work that you may be doing on a very grassroots level. Thank you.